What's going on people and welcome to Man Knows Football. You are here with Goonie straight after a Chelsea 4-0 victory against Malmo at home at Stamford Bridge. An emphatic three points on the board. Very important after a 1-0 loss away at Turin against Juventus. Excellent performance from Chelsea today. But if we're going to be completely honest, it was men against puppies. You saw the golf in class. Uh, but let's get into the game. It was a very strong lineup, and in fact, what proved to be a controversial talking point, the injury of Romelu Lukaku. Did he really need to start? Could Tuchel have experimented in a different way against opposition like Malmo? It could be argued. But personally, I do understand why he um, did persist with uh, Timo Werner and Lukaku. You've seen for the past few games, he has been experimented with the 3-5-2 lineup. I do believe Tuchel does see a, uh, a fruitful partnership with Timo Werner and Lukaku, a potential fruitful partnership there. We do see Timo Werner with the runs that he makes, um, open up, opening up spaces in the defence for Lukaku, which he will exploit. Lukaku, we saw again before he got injured today, his hold-up play was fantastic. Um, New York City has to make his appearance again, sorry about that. His hold-up play was fantastic. He was playing in the attackers. We were actually getting in runs in behind, but again, the quality... It wasn't that great today, but it was still encouraging to see. Um, could Lukaku's injury have been avoided? Let me know down there in the comments. Um, but yeah, man, we was just on the we was just on the front foot from the get go, man, and it didn't take too long. A fantastic ball from our centre back. Um, again, another goal from another defender, but this time assisted from a defender. Thiago Silva uh, swings in a lovely crossing from the right. Thiago um, Christensen finds himself in an advanced position. Difficult finish for a centre back, but nonetheless he did do that. Puts it away. That was the icing on the cake for what has been an amazing year for Andreas Christensen. Caps it off with a goal. Well done. Has hasn't put a foot in wrong since Tuchel's come in. So. Really, like, the game the game was... Malmo, they, they tried, they had their spells where they tried to keep possession, but we was just too much for them. Our press was just way too intense for them. They couldn't play out of our press. They couldn't really play out of their own half, um, to be honest with you. Um, as you, as you. As you all saw, it was, yeah, like I said, it was men against puppies today. The second goal, Lukaku was fouled in the box. Tackle from behind from the Malmo defender. I think it was just the frustration of them just getting peppered constantly, man. And I just think he said, fuck it, I'm just going to lunge in here. I know it's going to be a penalty, but it is what it is. As a result, Romelu Lukaku did have to come off. Um, he did look quite uncomfortable. He actually signalled himself to make the substitution, which we then saw Kai Havertz come on. Um, thank goodness that he was able to walk. Was never a good sign for him to come off, but I do hope it's not too serious and he's not out for too long. Belingali. We wish you a fast recovery. You get me? But Kai Havertz did come on. But before that, obviously, Jorginho had to take the penalty. He did step up as cool as you like, cool as a cucumber, smooth as eggs, man. Put it away. 2-0. Jorginho, who I was very impressed with today, was making very forward passes. Very, like, you get me? First time, first time passes when he was receiving the ball. Just really playing to his strengths. He looked like he enjoyed himself out there today. Um, again, very physical, helping win the ball um, further up the pitch. He done he done his job today. Looked quite refreshed, and he looks ready to go on um, into into the Norwich game, man. So very impressive from Jorginho. Um, unfortunately, again we get another injury. Timo Werner this time looks like a hamstring injury. Um, unfortunate for the guy because it looks like he was he was picking up some run of form. He's looked dangerous. Um, since he has uh, been given the opportunity to play for us. So it was a shame to see him go off. But a player who we have been crying out to see in his natural position, Callum Hudson-Odoi, he does come on and he does make an impact straight away, showing the talent that we all know that he has. Again, I'm not going to get too carried away. It is Malmo. But now that there are injuries in the attacking positions, it will be nice to see Callum Hudson-Odoi get... Um, chances in his favoured left wing position and what we saw from him today was good we saw him he was trying to you know beat players it was very direct fantastic ball for Kai Havertz picked up the ball from the midfield drove very forward added that directness we desperately miss from players like Christian Pulisic so hopefully we can see a lot more of that from Callum hudson Adoy. I want to see him trust himself a bit more I want to see him really like isolate defenders go one on one beat defenders get goals because he does have that in his game um, the weight of the pass to playing Kai Havertz was lovely and the finish I have to say classy thinks the goalkeeper finds the lower um, far corner there it is 3-0 
absolutely fantastic goal from Kai Havertz. Very confident finish. The game's just out of sight, really. And at this point, it's just a case of um, how many. Everybody's having a good game at this point. Everybody's trying to get forward. Christensen, like I already said, he got into an advanced position, already got the goal. Um, Rudiger, again, he will go on to do the same thing. Um, he'll go on to do the same thing and win a penalty. Interacted with a 1-2. I, be I believe it was... Uh, was it Kai Havertz? I think it was Kai Havertz. There was a 1-2 in there. Rudiger does get in the box and is fouled. Um, Rudiger, again... We're becoming used to seeing him making them runs, man. Just looking for that audacious goal that he seems to want every single game. He was right there trying to get another goal. I really wanted Rudiger to be awarded with that penalty. I wanted Jorginho to say, you know what, man? You're so desperate for the goal, man. You're just relentless for this thing. You're running past players like you're Messi, but when you get in the box or anywhere near it, it just doesn't happen for you. Here, take the penalty. I was desperate for that to happen, but it wasn't meant to be. Another smooth penalty by Jorginho. 4-0 and at that point it was cruise control Thomas Tuchel had made more substitutions we saw Sa uh, Saul come on uh, the change of the wing backs Reese James came on Marcus Alonso came on and to be honest with you I think like those uh, Saul man he came on he didn't really cover himself in any glory either he wasn't terrible he wasn't great he was just there he just looked like a passenger in the game again um, I wasn't really too impressed with Saul Niguez's performance uh, we all know that Kai Havertz as well. He needs to show a lot more consistency. He should build on from today, man. He does need to build on from today. Yes, he has been used in different positions and he hasn't really found his place to settle. But Kai Havertz, I know you're not a flash in the pan. You need to show everybody else you're not a flash in the pan and that you do have some consistency about you. Lukaku is injured. Ziyech um, seems to be injured. Uh, Werner's injured. So that's three attackers out. We're going to be relying on you heavy, man. So hopefully with the faith that we're going to show you you can repay that man but honestly there's no complaints from anybody on the Chelsea team today a very quiet day in the office for Edouard Mendy didn't have to show off his world-class best goalkeeper in the world skills today and I mean that you get me if you don't agree with me that's your own problem you get me to be Mr Mendy is the best goalkeeper in the world and did Thomas Tuchel get it right today Pfft. Uh, well, yeah, look at the result. It speaks for itself. Very emphatic, very encouraging victory today. We saw some excellent stuff. Granted, again, Malmo was the opposition, but we were constantly getting in behind. The link-up play was a bit better today. Um, less predictable passages of play today, man. It has to be said. Jorginho, like I said earlier, was a very forward-thinking player today. was playing very much to his strengths. Um, N'Golo Kante. And Golo Kante showed why, I keep saying this, showed why he is more than just a quote-unquote defensive midfielder. This man is a box-to-box -box midfielder. He is, already we know what he is defensively, but going forward today he showed why and what we miss when he is not in the team. And Golo creates chances, he causes havoc in that final third, he wins possession very high up the field, he brings in the attackers, he, he's a goal threat man, he might not be able to score, you get me, his goal, his, his goal scoring ratio might not be that good but I'm telling you, with Kante in the team is positive, he's a very good driving force going forward, you see him, he picks up the ball and he just drives forward man and he just brings everybody with him and just brings more players into play and I do think with the chances that we sh hopefully we're going to see Callum hudson Odoi have, um, obviously Kante be more in the team. Kai Havertz, I think we're going to start to see them benefit from that. But it was a very emphatic performance again from Chelsea today. Um, Hayden CFC did give his thoughts after the game and I am going to add them right here. There we go. There's the final whistle. The stadium's emptying out right now and it's a 4-0 win by Chelsea against uh, Malmo. I was more like it. I was more like it. I thought we were going to start off the same way we ended the first half, which was quite slow. You know, uh, I, thought, I thought the players were going to get a bit comfortable, but second half kind of mirrored the first half where the players came out quite intense and they, and they really went for their neck in the second half at the beginning. I feel once we got two goals, just like the first half, we relaxed, we could relax, we made our subs, changed both full backs, we got Saul Nuguez on, who, yeah, I mean, he's not the best, is he? But he's going to have to do for now as a, uh, as a third sub. But in general, I feel we we're in cruise control. It's looking good uh, going forward in terms of racking up the goals, players getting minutes on the pitch. Hopefully, I'm not too sure yet about the Lukaku and the Werner injury, but hopefully they're not too bad because I think it's obvious for everyone going forward we're going to need them in our team and we're going to need one of them to lead the line. Um, Hazard, ha Havertz did do well. I'm saying Hazard, I wish it was Hazard, but Havertz did, did, he did do well when he came on, but I just feel like sometimes he can get out-muscled. 
Um, good thing is Hudson Odoi got minutes, really intense. I felt like he was probably our man of the match in the second half. Uh, in terms of the intensity, I think the boys, you know, they all put in the shifts. Mason Mount didn't stop working. I think he needs to keep working. The goals will come, the assists will come. Uh, it's just it's just a matter of keep working hard and, and just graft away. Um, in terms, apart from that, I think it's quite a comfortable evening for us. Just what I had expected. And, um, you know, up the Chelps. Come on, boys. It's itself, Hayden CFC. Like I said, forgetting the footage, it was nice to see Stamford Bridge. Although I wasn't there, I'm all the way in New York, but soon soon troops is getting married and obviously i have to be there for the wedding so i will be back at the bridge soon god willing you get me but um yeah man i was happy with the victory today we're gonna move on to the norwich game and also tomorrow we have a very special guest for you so make sure you are locked in i promise you you are not going to regret it but to everybody that's been watching before you leave please make sure you do like share subscribe leave your thoughts down there in the comments man all of that good stuff you get me you lot have been fantastic i'm sorry i ain't really been putting out that much content over the past few weeks on this channel i will do better i have been tied up a bit with troops is back again i'm absolutely loving it over there having the time of my life Big up expressions, man. He has just signed to Barstool Sports, so you will see us all working a lot more together. Um, but yeah, man, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, yeah, make sure you stay safe in these dangerous times that we are living in. You get me, man? So love and blessings to every single one of you that are watching. Big up yourselves and please help me grow this platform and share these videos man let's get back onto this youtube algorithm and let's keep growing road to 5000 we are not slacking now you get me but yeah big up yourselves bless